Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sins. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God, I love myself, and I love others with the God kind of love. I believe the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights, and wrongs. I look to the Spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent, and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hello there, here, and welcome to Hero Smart Academy. This is Mrs. Theta speaking. It's good to have you here again. Today's lesson, we're going to talk about comparing numbers. We're going to be comparing um, different numbers. I want to show you how we're going to do that. If you have your workbook, if you opened up, you'll be able to follow along, and I think it'll help to make better sense of what you see on the board. Plus, if you've gone through the pre-K and grade K mathematics curricula, then you, this is just going to be a refresher for you. You're very familiar with comparing numbers using the greater than and less than symbol. So let's get started. This symbol, when faced this direction, whoop, means less than, okay? This is the less than symbol, while this is the more than or greater than symbol. So you have less than, greater than, less than, greater than, Oh, did that stick with you? Good. That was a fun exercise for me, anyways. So we have, um, and then, so one way that um, you can remember this is that the opening of the mouth is, you can imagine that this is a crocodile's mouth, okay? And so the alligator or crocodile opens his mouth this way because he wants to eat all the bigger, he, his, he wants to open his mouth to eat the bigger number. Okay, he doesn't want the smaller number. Let's say we're comparing the number five to 10. He doesn't want five fish or five toads. He wants the number in front of him, which is actually 10. So he opens his mouth to get the bigger number because he's super greedy, you know? And he wants the number 10, he does not want the number five. So anytime you see the opening of the mouth, that's going to be the facing the direction of the greater number. Let's get started. So we have the number 228 compared to 438, which is the greater number? Where, which direction does our symbol face? Well, let's compare. Let's start with, you always start with the hundreds value or start with the greater digit, the greater value digit. So we're comparing two to four, which is greater, 200 or 400? 400 is greater. So even without going any further and analyzing any other digit, you can just stop right there and say 438 is greater than 228. Okay, what about this number, 702, 779? Which is uh, which direction does a symbol face? Well, let's start with the 100 section. We have 700 compared to 700. Ah, they're the same, aren't they? Since they're the same, we move right on to the very next digit, and that's going to be zero compared to seven. So we went to the hundreds place. Now we're going to go, and we found out at the hundreds place, they're the same, seven, seven. So we're going to go to the next uh, place in line, which is the tens place, which is why we underline the zero and the seven, which is greater, the zero or the seven. The seven is greater. Yes, the seven, therefore, the Symbols want to face this direction. It wants to eat the greater number. B. 
because seven seven is greater than seven zero. Okay, let's look at the, the bottom one here. We have 510 compared to 910. Let's start with the hundreds place. We have five compared to nine, which is great. Automatically, you know, nine is a greater number. 900 is greater than 500. Therefore, the symbols going to face this direction. <clears throat> okay, let me give you another example. Something that just came to me. What if the number is something like this, 865 compared to 864? Okay, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna start with the hundreds uh, place. The hundreds place, they're both eight. So we can't make our decision based on that alone. Let's move on to the tens place. We have six tens on this number and six tens in this number, which is greater. Well, we still don't know because the tens places are both the same as well. So then we move right on to the final digit. And which is five and four. Now, which one is greater? Aha, uh -huh. the five is greater than the four. Therefore, the symbol faces that direction. All right, boys and girls, I hope this helps to clarify some things if you need a clarity. Plus, it'll give you an opportunity to complete the exercise with a little bit of enlightenment. Thank you for coming to class and being a part of today's lesson. And until next time, remember, Jesus loves you and so do we. God bless. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with hero's boy.